How's it going everyone? My name is Coxie and this is going to be part 20 of our FPS tutorial series in Unity. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is making our pickup system or starting the basis of our pickup system and by the end of this tutorial we'll be able to actually pick up our pistol ammunition and once we've set up this system we'll be able to easily use this for anything else that we'd like our player to pick up for the game. So I've gone ahead and um, I've actually got this common loot sample kit from the asset store. So if you go to the asset store, um, nowadays when you go to asset store, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's the new version of the asset store. <clears throat> I'm actually um, used to using the old version. I like it better to tell you the truth. So I just go up here and I click to shop on old store and if you just type in ammo or ammunition or ammo box or whatever um, go to free only it'll bring up all of these free assets here and I've got this common loot kit which is just down here and there's other kits here you can use as well this one looks okay this one will be okay um, there's lots of different ones so you can just use whichever you would actually like but I'm going to use this one and then later on we'll probably get either this one or this one to get the health kit because I want to be able to pick up um, health as well. There's also some other really cool assets I noticed here like there's grenades here that we can use later on to make grenades and all different types of ammunitions and boxes and I did notice this um, free AKM model and I've actually gone ahead and got this as well because I reckon this gun looks uh, really cool and I want to use it so I've gone ahead and downloaded it here so you guys can grab that now if you want but um, you can always grab it later on as well but definitely at least grab a kit that's going to um, have some type of ammunition that you can use to pick up for today okay so I'm just getting this one so once you've um, downloaded it into your or download it and import it into your Unity. You should open it up and have this stuff here if it's the same as me. And if you go into prefabs and ammo, we've got a magazine and the shotgun shell, but I actually want to use this box of pistol bullets. So as you can see, this is not a prefab. This is actually the model itself when it's um, being imported into Unity. That's why you can change all these settings here in the inspector. So for me, um, first of all, I'll drag it into the scene and um, you can see it's huge. It's no stress. So what we can do is if we click back on the box, we can actually resize it here where it says scale factor or you could click on it and just resize it here as well. But I'll just um, resize it to 0 0.01 here and then uh, what do we got I'm going to turn off generate colliders because it will probably generate a mesh collider and I'm just going to use a simple box collider because it's such a simple um, shape object so turn off generate colliders resize it and then press apply and now we have a much smaller little ammunition box of pistol bullets. And I'll just leave it just above the ground, just like that. Don't worry if it's not on the ground because we're going to be adding a rigid body to this for a start, which will make it use physics. So when the game starts, it will automatically just drop to the ground. But we also need to make sure we have collider how big is that collider okay so it's only sized it up on half of the actual model so we need to go Z and we need to make this one bigger so I'm just going to stretch stretch it out and then I'm just going to move it across by using the Z axis above it and just 
slide like that. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so the collider's got to be covering the whole ammo box and we should be good to go. Now what we need to do is we're going to make this pickup system using Raycast. So the Raycast is going to actually shoot from the center of our camera just like we do for our pistol bullets and then we're going to be looking for um, pick items that we can pick up and also items that are tagged as, as certain things. So basically our Raycast that comes out for our pickup system is going to ignore everything in the game except a certain layer and this layer we're going to make now so I might just rename this to pistol pistol ammunition you can call it pistol bullets or <clears throat> pistol ammo whatever you want but we want to go to layer and we've used tags before but we haven't used layers as far as I can remember so if you click on that we can go to add layer and then you'll see that my next slot that I've got available is number 8 yours should be the same so we can call this layer pickups and then go back to the pistol ammunition and if we scroll down here we should have pickups and it will say because there's a um, parent with children underneath it it's going to ask us do we just want to change the parent layer or do we want to change all the layers we don't actually have to change all of them because we only need to have this layer on the actual um, game object that has the box collider so you can just say no or you could just change them all it doesn't really matter so we've got that done now we want to make a new tag as well so if we go to add tag there's our three tags and we can call this pistol ammo tag okay pistol ammo just take note of how you spelt that of course and now that's done we can do the actual text so make sure you're not in game view make sure you're in scene view so you get your little 2d toggle up here so we can just left click on the 2D and then if we right click on the canvas go to UI and text and then we can call this pickup text and if we double click on that it will show us our text in the middle of our canvas we know it's in the middle because that is the red dot site so for this I'm going to make it a bit bigger so I'm going to go 60 and then say 250 so just so we've got plenty of room for all the text to um, be displayed in here and of a size that we can actually read so <clears throat> what we need to do now you can actually change um, the font settings and things like this if you would like as well so what we can do is just for now we'll we'll write um, pick up item. Don't worry, this is not what it's going to actually say. I'm just doing this so that we can get the um, text looking how we want. And I'm going to make it bold, and then I'm just going to center it. I'm going to make it best fit so it's nice and large. And then I'm going to just change this to all black. You can change it to whatever color you want. You could um, adjust the transparency if you would like as well. Um, that's about it. Also you can turn off Raycast target if you'd like. It's probably a good idea. This, um, the pickup Raycast we're going to use is going to completely ignore this anyway because it's only looking for things that have the pickup layer. But for weapons and things like that this, if this is on the screen at the time, it could possibly um, interfere with the raycast. So probably best just to turn off the raycast target. And I think that'll just about do. One thing I haven't mentioned yet either is in 2018 version of Unity, um, they have Text Mesh Pro 
which used to be a um, asset you could download, but now it's actually built into Unity. So we haven't really used that. It is a better system than the built-in Unity text, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use the standard text for now, just in case someone's not using an updated version of Unity or whatever. So that's done. We've got our text. And if we look in the game view, we should see how big, and that's how big it's going to come up on the screen, which is fine. So now I'm going to get rid of this because it's looking exactly how I want it. And we can start writing some scripts. So turn off 2D. You can just um, double click on your player or whatever to go back to where you were. And what we're going to do, if we click on the player, we can go add component and we can do a new script and this can be called pickup and you'll see that we get the script here and also the script in our uh, project folder so oh also I've got to mention sorry I've got a sound for you guys to use as well if you'd like to use it it's just going to be for picking up this ammunition so it's just that sound it's, it's nothing special so try to get um, a better sound or something you can use that's a little bit better than that and we'll go ahead and open up this pickup script okay so sort out your script how you want it and the first thing we're going to do because we are using text is we're going to say using unity engine dot UI and we're going to need a fair few variables I'll try to do as many as I can think of to start with so first of all we're going to use array we didn't use array for our pistol we did use a um, raycast hit and that can be called hit and you'll see why we're using array in a minute because we're not um, with our pistol on our player the ray actually comes out of the shoot point okay so we've got our shoot point here and the ray actually fires directly out of here and this shoot point is zeroed out on the X and the Y and it's only moved a tiny bit forward on the Z but it lines up perfectly with our red dot sight the way we're going to do this ray cast is we're not going to have a shoot point we're actually just going to let Unity know that we want the ray to come out of the center of the camera so this is another way you can set it up as well um, so we've got our ray, ray cast hit. We also want some type of distance, like how far are we going to be from an item before we can pick it up. So we can just um, serialize field and make a float and call it pick up distance. And we can say like five meters for now. Uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need... Oh, we need an audio source because we're going to want to play the sound that we have. So audio source and we'll call it Picker AS. We're also going to need a camera. And what else? What else? Distance pickup, audio source, main camera. I'm sure we're going to need more than this. It doesn't look like enough, but anyway, we'll see how we go and add more if we need them. This should get us started. So, the first things we can do is we can make our start. And in start, we want to find the camera and the audio source. So we can just say pick up audio source equals get component audio source. Because I think we have an audio source on our player. We should have one. 
click on our player. Yeah, we have an audio source on our player. So we can just write that. And we can say main main cam equals camera dot main. This is the same as we used for our iron sights to zoom in and out. And that should do for now. Oh, actually we didn't put our text. Um, we need to definitely have our text. So public text pickup text. Okay. Oh, I'm also yeah, we're going to need to access the um, pistol script because this is where we have our ammo. So if we want to change how much ammo we have, we need to access the pistol script. So we probably want to say pistol pistol script and this will be pistol script equals and this will be in our children because yeah, the pistol's here with the pistol script and we're the main parent. So we want to find this component in the children. So get component in children and it will just be pistol like that. Okay, so now let's start actually uh, making this ray shoot out from the center of our camera. So to do this, we need to put it in the update function. And first thing we need to do is we need to let Unity know where we want the ray to come from. So we'll say that ray is equal to main cam dot so this one here view is this the one hang on yes it is viewport point to ray okay this is the one we want I think so let's try this one and this takes in a vector three yeah this is the one so what we're basically going to say now is we're gonna set set this ray up to be the point of where the ray actually comes out of our camera and we want it to come out of the center of our camera so on the X which is the horizontal going across like this we want it to be in the middle somewhere here which is going to be half of the screen which is 0 0.5 and then we also want the same for the Y it's going to be halfway between the top and the bottom so that's going to be 0 0.5 and then for the Z, we're just going to set it to zero, so it just comes out of the actual. Well, it, it's not like it's not forward or it's not back from the middle of the camera, like we set our actual, um, like we set our actual um, shoot point for the pistol. So, oh, hang on, I've stuffed this up. This has got to be. Just going to cut this out. So cut that out, and this needs to be new vector three, and then open and close parentheses, and then I'll just paste this back in. And we definitely need to make sure that we close off both of the parentheses. So we have one open parentheses, two open parentheses. We need to have them both uh, closed up as well. Okay. So this is going to allow us to shoot from the middle of the camera and now we need to do the actual um, ray cast itself so for our pistol script we had the shoot ray function which is this one here so it's going to be similar to this but we're not using the shoot point position instead we're using the ray position we just made so and we're going to have it a little bit different than that as well. So basically we're going to say if physics dot raycast like so and then instead of the shoot point dot position, so open and close parentheses, we'll say ray 
and then we'll do our out hit so that we can actually return um, what we're hitting and then we are going to what do we got then we need our distance so our distance is the five meters you can always change this so our pickup distance and that's what I wanted to do I wanted to make a public layer mask and I'll call it layer and then we can add that here so this is going to allow us to only be looking for things that are um, that have the layer that we set before which was the pickups excuse me so if we write uh, layer here and then we do our open and close curly brackets so we're going to shoot this raycast from the middle of our camera we're going to be looking for it to hit something within five meters and it has to have the pickups layer okay so now we need to actually do something if we actually find an item we can pick up so we can say if hit dot transform dot tag is equal to and it was pistol ammo make sure that is spelled exactly the same as this and we didn't actually tag it so make sure that we tag this as pistol ammo the um, ammunition make sure it's tagged as pistol ammo and it's all spelt the same as here okay so we've got our pistol ammo and now we want some things to happen so actually even before this when we actually just hover over the um, or when we're actually looking at the item we want to pick up and with it we're five meters or less away we actually want the text to come up as well so we could probably say pick up text dot text equals uh, hit dot oh, come on transform dot name dot to string so what's going to happen here is whatever we've named this is what's going to be displayed on the screen when we look at it so when you name this make sure you you call it what it actually is so that is going to happen we also want to make sure that this text is visible on the screen because we're not always going to want this text to be on the screen so first of all we're going to say um, pick up dot text dot enabled equals true and make sure that these two lines of code here are in the if statement between these two brackets here and then not in this one okay because we 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 want this just to come up as soon as we look at the actual item we want to pick up so that's fine that should give us some text and now we need to work out what we want to do if we actually want to pick up the item of course so <coughs> if it actually is the pistol ammo tag we want to hang on a minute yeah we, we want to do some kind of input because that's what um, you guys requested sorry I was just thinking for a second how to do this so we'll do um, we'll do a void here and call this pick up call it something like pick up pistol ammo and then we'll say if input dot get key down 
and it can be key code dot e you can have it whatever you want but I'm going to use e to be able to pick things up then we want I'll just put this in here before I forget okay so we're going to be calling this function sorry this function in here and the first thing we want to do when we actually press the key to pick it up is we want the item to disappear so we can just say uh, destroy hit dot transform dot game object and we also want our ammunition to get filled so we need to we need to access this script and we need to carried ammo we could make it refill like just say you had five um, sorry five ammo in your actual current magazine we could say refill this one back to 12 and refill this one back to 60 but I'm just going to do the actual carried ammo for now and um, I think that makes more sense because otherwise you'd just be filling up your magazine without actually reloading your gun which doesn't really make sense to me but anyway we'll go back to our pistol script and we'll say pistol script sorry we won't we won't go back to our pistol script we'll go back to our pickup script and we'll say pistol script dot uh, carried ammo equals and we've we've set this to 60 so we could just say 60 but what if you want to um, change this in the future so if you wanted to change this in the future like just say you changed on your actual pistol script here say you change carried ammo to a hundred or forty you wanted it smaller or whatever um, you'd have to actually go back remember to go back into your pickup script and change it if you had this equal to 60 here you would have to remember to go back and change it here as well um, and that is sometimes not a good thing to do because you can f easily forget so what we can do is we've got our current ammo and then we've got our max ammo which is the max ammo is the most um, we can carry in a magazine okay and that's what we're currently going to carry in the magazine when we start the game so if we can do the same for the carried ammo so if we highlight this we can right click and then go rename and I can say that this is current carried ammo and then I can apply and that will change all all the versions that are um, in our code that say that said uh, carried ammo before will now all be current carried ammo so if I go down where would it be it'll be in our reload yeah there you go so in our update UI and reload there's a couple of versions of it so make sure if you're not using Visual Studio, I don't know if you can actually do it the same way in uh, Mono Develop, but make sure that you change all of them to current carried ammo. And then we can also do another one and say um, public int max carried ammo. And we'll equal that to 60 for now as well. So now we can just say instead of equaling 60 we can say max equal sorry pistol script dot max carried ammo so then if we went to our pistol script and we change the max carried ammo like then it would automatically be the same here as well okay so we don't have to worry about going and changing it. So we make the object disappear. We give ourselves some ammunition. We need to also play a sound. We didn't do an audio clip. 
we could just use this audio source to play it, but I don't really like doing that. So we're just going to do a uh, public audio clip and call this pickup audio clip. And then down here we can say uh, pickup audio source dot play one shot. pick up audio clip and we've pressed the button so the text will be on the screen but if we press the button we don't like if we if we pick up the item we want the text to disappear so we need to get rid of this text so here we'll say pick up text dot enabled equals false and is that all oh, we can try it out also yeah, also we want this text to disappear once we stop looking at the item. So here we can say else uh, pick up text dot enabled equals false as well. And pick up the ammunition. Okay, so we also need to make sure, because if we just write this, it's going to give us the ammunition, like it'll change here, it'll turn that back to 60, but it won't update it up here, because we've actually got, in the pistol script, we've actually got an update UI function, yeah, update ammo UI, okay. So we're going to need to call this, so we'll make this public. And then we'll go back in here and we can say pistol script dot update ammo UI and then make sure you save all your scripts. So shift control S. So we save the pistol script and the pickup script. And that should well it should kind of work so we'll have a look first of all we need to set this up so if we go to player we need our audio clip so drag your audio clip in there we need our pickup text so drag your pickup text into there and that has a lowercase t I'm just going to change that because it's going to irritate me okay pickup text and then the layer so we set our layer to be the pickups layer. So make sure that only the pickups layer is selected. And then the Raycast will only worry about objects that have the pickup layer. So if we go into our game now. I'll just reload so we have less than 60 carried ammo. Okay, we've got 48 now. If we go to our ammo and look at it, it says pistol ammunition. Need to make the uh, box a bit bigger. So from this far away, I'm more than five meters away, obviously, and I can't see any, it doesn't do anything. If I go up closer, it says pistol ammunition. Okay, and then if I press E, I pick it up. But we need to just, um, make sure that if we go back to scene 2d and go to pick up text we'll make this longer so i'll make that 300 and also i'll press w and i'll just move this up so the text is up a little bit and now i'll just turn this down a little bit the sound effects really loud
okay, and we go over. If we look at it, it says pistol ammunition. If we look away, it disappears. If we look at it and then press E, we've picked it up and reloaded our carried ammo. So that's all well and good, but what if we have full ammunition already? Do we still want to pick it up if we have full ammunition? I don't really want to be able to pick it up if we have full ammunition. So we can say, um, <clears throat> should we do it here? We could say, cut this out, and we can say if pistol script dot Uh, current carried ammo is less than pistol script dot max carried ammo was it? Yep. So only if our current carried ammo is less than the max carry ammo, which is currently 60. So if we have less than 60 bullets, then we'll pick it up. Then we'll do all this stuff that we did before. But if we already have like full capacity of ammunition, then we want to say else um, let's make a string up here and just call it um, pick up info that'll do and we can just then have uh, we can say pick up info equals uh, pistol can't type, sorry, ammunition full, just like that, and then we can say pick up text dot text equals pick up info. Control S to save that. So now if we have a lot of ammunition, or full ammunition, we won't be able to pick it up and it will give us this on the screen instead of just the name of it, okay? So I'm just gonna make this even a little bit wider because it may not be able to fit all that text. So I'll just, to be safe, I'll do 400. And now if we go in there, we have full ammo, so Oh, no, I've done that wrong. I've done that wrong. Hang on. Of course it's not going to work like that. We don't want it there. We want... Um, we want it here. Sorry, guys. I really uh, made that. I'm just going to cut that out. And I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to put it here, and then I'm just going to put this in there. And then I'm going to say. Cut that. Sorry, my house is really loud. <laughs> um, okay, that should be better. And now we just need to get rid of these. Make sure that you... Um, I'm trying to rush this a bit, guys, but make sure you do this all the same. Have all your brackets the same because it's easy just to make a mistake when you're moving all this stuff around. So now that should work. So save that. 
go back in. Okay. Pistol ammunition is full, okay? Look away. If we... If we haven't got full ammunition, we can pick it up. Okay, beautiful. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.